show you to today in the game video on how to connect your MacBook Air or Pro to an external monitor or on how to use dual displays meaning I connect this to this and I have two displays and I can move my mouse across and go here now first off what you're going to have if you have an Air is buy an adapter such as this a mini display port to HDMI or VGA which this is a VGA and uh, you need the cable itself that connects to the monitor. Now, if you have a Pro, you most likely have an HDMI cable built into the computer, which should be around here or here, I'm not sure. But that HDMI cable, you don't need to get a adapter for that. And, and most monitors have HDMI cables built into, HDMI ports built into them. All you need to buy in that case is an HDMI cable. So you connect the HDMI cable to this if you have a Pro and plug that into the computer. I have an Air, so I plug this into the cable which is connected to the monitor. Then I plug this into my computer. And before you do this, you want to make sure your computer and your monitor are turned on. Just plug that in. And in case your monitor does not support HDMI cables, in case you have, in case your monitor does not support HDMI cables, if you have a Pro, you can follow the MacBook Air instructions instead. As you can see, I have my two monitors enabled now, and there are some settings you may have to configure, which I'll go over right now. So I'm recording from my built-in monitor in my computer. I can't record both screens at the same time using ScreenFlow, so I'm sorry about that. But I have both monitors connected. Now, some settings you can configure are in System Preferences, Displays, and now in Displays you can go to Arrangement. This is my, this is the primary monitor, this is the primary monitor right here, this is the external one I just plugged into. See this white bar above that, you can move that to make the external one your primary monitor when connected. Or you can mirror your displays so that what's going on in this also goes on the other one. And that's sort of like airplane. And uh, for your external monitor, you can change the color and etc. by just going in some other settings. Rotation standard, you can uh, um, change the refresh rate. And the color, you can calibrate your display in case it's not showing how precisely how the colors should be. That's really all the settings you have to configure in system preferences for your external monitor to work properly. Depending on your monitor, you can uh, adjust its settings using the buttons that are usually located around the bottom over here. But otherwise, this is really quick and easy, and I think it's pretty cool. You can just have blue monitors on your laptop. That's really cool, and you can also make this a desktop too. It'd be a laptop and desktop with another monitor. It's pretty cool for me. And if you have an Apple TV, you can do this wirelessly, but otherwise, there should be no problems doing this. And if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please comment down in the comments section or email me, which my email is on my website. Again, all the links are down in the description for adapters, cables, etc. And this has been a really quick video on how to have dual monitors on your Mac.